Welcome to Ivy Cottage Farm here in Toaster, the home and kennels of trainer Heather Dimmock and her assistant Mick Pacey. They trained the Toaster RPG TV Dog of the Year, Blackstone Marco, who of course we all know as a star of the track. Now he lives here in their kennel office with a whippet and a cat, and he's proving to be quite a character. Well, first of all, congratulations on Blackstone Marco winning RPG TV Dog of the Year for 2016. It was a nice way to end his career, really, Mick. Yeah, it was. Yeah, he's a, he had a good good spell at Toaster, uh, winning the six out of six. Shame he couldn't win his last race, but no, he, he did like, he excelled there, really. And he's such a character, isn't he, Heather? Oh, yeah, he is. He makes you smile every day. He gets up to all sorts of stuff, stealing biscuits and sugar and stuff. But he's a real character. There's never any chance of him leaving these kennels. He now lives with you here as a, as a pet, and uh, you've got particularly quite a, a relationship with him, Mick. Yeah, I hate him. <laughs> but he always <laughs> communicates with you. The videos that you post on social media, they're brilliant. No, no, he, he, like I've ever said, he's just a character. He's, he's always up to something. If, he, if he's being quiet, he's asleep, that's it. Marco, wake up! Marco, wake up! He's full of energy as well from what we've seen today. I mean, you probably could have carried on racing him, couldn't you? He loves to run, we've seen that. Oh, he loves to go out in the field every morning, have a good blast round. Perhaps would have won a few more races, but all the owners felt it was the right time to retire him, so that's, that's what we've done. Who's done it? What do you call this? Self-medication? You're on the Metacam? Dairy box chocolates. Who done this? You? I don't know. Who? Ah, need a drink, do you? I'm not surprised. You shortbread thief. Guilty. Marco Aurelius. Kitchen roll. <laughs> Muller that. What do you think it's funny? Who's the boss? <laughs> Me. What did the kitchen roll ever do to you? <laughs> what? <laughs> Who's the boss? <laughs> Who's the boss? Sugar. <laughs> what? Who? <laughs> Who? <laughs> Her? <laughs> Wait, you're getting told off. Iron Master, you get in bed. You've got plenty of other good dogs here now racing and uh, potentially two for you in the juvenile, Mick. First of all, let's talk about uh, Kildallan Bolt, who'll definitely get his place uh, after uh, winning the Northern Puppy Derby. And uh, how do you match him up to the other youngsters that are around? Well, he hasn't really took the sitting board yet. We could try a couple of different things with him for the next c couple of weeks there, uh, just see if we can get him to run the first two bends a bit better. But he can definitely run. He's, he's, he's definitely got some pace about him. What is it you think doesn't suit him with Central Park? I'm not quite sure. He, he takes the knot in him and, and he just powers into the bend and he don't stop running around it. But he takes the sitting ball and he just doesn't seem to run the bend so well. He, like even down the back straight, I thought the other last time we raced there, like he, he, he'll pick the dog up into the third bend, but he just ran a bit flat. But he's ran flat like three three times, so he's, they, it must be like something else. He's a gorgeous big dog, Heather. Are you hopeful of a good year for him this year? Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's. Like Mick says, he's got loads of pace. Uh, it's just finding the right tracks, really, but uh, he's got a bright future, definitely. And what will the plans be, you say, about finding the right track? Do you think Toaster will suit him for the derby? Possibly. He's, he won a couple of races there when he was a puppy. The track seems to suit him. It's just getting his seeding right, I think, is the main thing. You've got Holden Rio as well. Do you think he could be a, a bigger p player, perhaps, than uh, Kildallan Bolt in the juvenile? Possibly. I mean, he's got more early pace than Kildallan Bolt. Um, just struggles to get home over the longer distance, but he's definitely a big player in the big races this year. How would you compare those two of yours, Mick? Round Sittingbourne, Rio, far superior. He's got a lot more early and he runs the bends a lot better. But like Heather said, he, he doesn't quite get home that well. If it's slow going, like Spencer's dog the other week picked him up, it was a foregone conclusion really, because the game was a bit slow, but if it's good going, it, it, he'll, he'll get the 480, maybe the 500 just. And again, will Rio be derby bound? Yeah, I, th I think they've, they've already decided um, that's going to be the plan. I think we're going to go for Juvenile and then um, hopefully the Ark and then look at, look at the derby. You've also brought out Westway Gaga for us to see here today. I know she's relatively new to your kennel, but you're hoping for good things from her. Yeah, a, a friend of mine, he, um, he brought her in. We was, tried to get her in a couple of weeks earlier for the Golden Sprint. I don't know if we'll, we'll get her ready for that or not. But hopefully, yeah, she's going to be a good short four-bend bitch this year for us. And also Stormy Dexter, we've seen, Heather. Very uh, young, energetic-looking pup still. 
Yeah, he's very um, excitable. Um, he's only had the one trial at Toaster at the moment. He's very green at the moment. He's only a June 15 pup out of Blonde Snapper. But hopefully he'll calm down a bit and we can get him going. So it should be, it should be good, a good graded dog. Now you've got loads of pups here amongst other animals. You're breeding slightly more now, Heather, than before. Yeah, we've had um, three litters last year. Um, we normally only have one litter a year. It should be a good year. Blackstone Marco and Benamite Pixie, they almost look like characters like their dad, Mick. Yeah, they're, uh, uh, a few of them are like virtually the same as him, and they're quite mischievous as well. But no, hopefully they'll, uh, they'll, they'll, they'll come on to be half as good as their dad, we'll be OK. And then the uh, other litter that are the same age, actually, just two weeks younger, Galley cash in too late to sell, gorgeous uh, fawn and brindle dogs. Uh, yeah, they certainly look well. Very good-looking pups. Hopefully they've got their dad's traits. I mean, he's still got the track record at Central Park, over the 500. And then the, the little ones you've got here, too late to sell, and M. Millie. You let them out today, mate. They gave you a bit of a runaround when you were trying to get them back to bed. They're, they're normally very good. They normally go straight in. It's, I think it's just she was here. They've been <laughs> mischievous <laughs> every day that... They, they normally stay out a little bit longer, they're a little bit tired, so they go in more easily. Is it a side you enjoy, these pups? Yeah, it's just time. It's just you go out for 10 minutes and you're out there for an hour, and you come back in and you think, well, where have I been for an hour? But no, it's, it's, it's good. It's good. And you have got quite a lot on your plate here, Heather. It's just the two of you. You've got three litters of pups now, and uh, how many race dogs? Um, we're in the kennel block, we've probably got 33. Um, obviously they're not all racing, there's some that's injured, some that are in season. Yeah, there's just about two of us. My parents help me out and obviously Mike's mum helps us out. But it is pretty full on. A lovely setting here, it really is a proper working farm. Yeah, I mean, my parents have got goats, we've got horses, chickens, ducks, keeps us all busy. I mean, mainly we look after the dog, that's our main aim every day is keep them happy. What's your aim for this year, Mick? To get through the year with not many injuries, touch wood. Um, and hopefully just get the dogs to run as well as they can do and just show how, how good they are. We, we should, hopefully we'll have a good year, hopefully.